right, friends, we are on lesson six. I'm going to do one with my Legos, and then we'll do an example on the problem set. So from problem set five, we learned how to put them in rows or columns so that we could see the array. Today, we're going to put them in rows and columns or look at an array with rows and columns and then figure out the repeated addition that goes with it, okay? So what I have and what you're going to need is either a whiteboard <clears throat> or paper to write on. And I have 10 Legos. So go ahead and pause this and go grab those tools and then come back and be ready to start. Okay, we are ready to go. We are going to do rows first, okay? Rows first. I am going to do groups of two. Okay, remember our groups have to be equal. So I put them in the groups of two first and I build my array into five rows. Okay, it tells me already what I have. So remember rows are east to west, left to right rows. Equal groups of two in rows. Okay, five rows of what? Well, how many were in each one? Well, we just said that too. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So five rows of two. Well, how many is that? Oh, well, here's two and two and two and two and two. Now we talked about efficient ways to add, right? Yes, we did. Okay, I see doubles. Two and two is four. Two and two again, sorry, two and two again is four. And then I just have this lonely two here. So four plus four. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Rojas is really having a hard time here. Four and four is eight, and I have a two down here. Eight plus two is 10. Now, if you already know how to skip count, you probably did this, and this is what I love. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Five rows of two equals 10. Excellent. If you don't need to do this, don't worry about it. But if you need help adding, that is still okay, and I would like you to do that. All right, now what's the repeated addition? What number is repeated over and over and over again? What do you see over and over and over? Oh, two, 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 and two. So two, five times. Two, which number? How many times? So this part is which number? And this is how many times we're doing it. Okay, how many times? Which number? Oh, two. How many times am I gonna write it? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And I already know that equals 10. All right, so that's the first example. And if it helps you to use the Legos, please do that. That is what they're for. And sometimes when we're learning a new concept, it's just easier for us to take a look at um, something we can move around, okay? All right, now we're gonna do columns. So let's do number one B on problem six, or on lesson sets, sorry. Let's do problem one B on lesson six problem set. Now we've done by rows, they want us to do columns, circle the columns. Remember, column has a big tall L, so that must be vertical north to south, top to bottom. So circle the columns. Well, here's one column. Here's another column. And here's another column. Now it gave me a hint. Did you come up with three columns? One, two, three. Yes, I did. Three columns of blank. How many? Remember that's the how many. So one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. They all have to be the same. Three columns of five, how many does that give me? Okay, five, 10, 15. Think of our sparkle game. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, counting by fives. Five plus five is 10, plus five more is 15. Now, this sentence right here, sorry, the only thing I have to block it out is my staples. Okay, this sentence right here, remember, this part tells me what number, what number, and this tells me how many of that number, 
Okay, what number? Five. And how many of that number? Well, three, because I did five three times. Five, three times five, plus five, plus five equals 10. Okay, so that's columns for you, friends. And as you move on to the back page of this, okay, just slow yourself and think of what is it asking me? What's a row, what's a column? Go back to those sheets, pull out those sheets that I included with the lesson five so you can remember what's a row and what's a column and then circle the rows. If it wants you to circle rows, circle rows. If it wants you to circle columns, circle columns so you can see better, all right? All right, friends, you guys are doing great on this math stuff. You let me know if you have any questions. Until next week, math, see you later.